Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Well, 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 what do we have here? Something for the more extravagant end of London today, as we're creating part of a front of house display for the Amalfi Perfume Shop. This high-end fragrance boutique in Knightsbridge often features a somewhat theatrical entrance. Whether this be purely floral arrangements, or even something as highly themed as a Jungle Book exterior, this particular Amalfi shop welcomes its guests with a real flair. In promotion of their new Aphrodita perfume for women, with the Poseidon being the male counterpart fragrance for the men, we've been asked to bring this fragrance's signature goddess from the front of the bottle and into the semi-three-dimensional world. I say semi-three-dimensional, she is pretty much going to be life-size, but she's only going to be around six to eight inches deep in total. Whilst we're tackling other projects here in the studio, Chris is creating the master pattern in his own space, whereby he'll then send the figure over to us for Aidan to make some final finishing touches before we move forward. Chris is a fantastic polystyrene sculptor, and we very much thank him for his expertise once again. As we don't yet know exactly how long she's going to be situated outside the shop, we want to create her to be able to withstand the elements. This allows the client the freedom to extend the duration outside if they'd like to. With this in mind, over the polystyrene form, she's going to be coated in our secretly sourced sticky back tinfoil, and then we're going over with a polyester resin and glass fibre mat. She will then have the surface worked up to a good finish, whereby we'll be going on with gold paints to create the final effect. Oh, I can see you eyeing up the sticky back tinfoil. Why don't you drop us an email? I won't say anything more than that. With the foil protecting the polystyrene from the resin, and with the sculpture only intending to be outside, we're going on with a general purpose resin and a few sturdy layers of glass fibre. The back of the sculpture is being left open so that we can create a return flange that could be tied back to their backdrop on site. After sanding down the glass fibre surface, and removing as many sharp points as possible, Aiden's now going over with a resin flow coat. This floods the surface, and helps to remove that fiberglass matte texture. This process is then repeated and cleaned up, until we achieve a much smoother form. For installation on site, the easiest way to secure this to what we imagine to be a backing wire frame, is simply zip or cable ties. This will save on any additional metal work, or any internal fixings to be required. We're going to remove some of the polystyrene from the back of the form, just so that these areas can be accessed easily, and we're going to insulate the rest with the sticky back foil, to save on any damp from affecting the foam inside. When it comes to the exterior, and the finishing look of the sculpture, it's one of those projects where we're directly replicating something that already exists, and we're simply blowing it up in scale. Naturally, we're conscious of achieving things like the correct colours, and so we're doing numerous tests with various gold paints, but we're trying to pay particular attention to the level of detail, and to not go too overboard and deviate from the original design. With something that's so small, just a logo on a perfume bottle, there's only so much detail that's evident on that sort of scale. When it comes to blowing this up, Yes, there are areas that need refining, and to enhance this it needs a little artistic interpretation, but we're still trying to stay true to the original form. Here, Ruth, Charlie and Aidan are drawing and masking up the patterns and the swirl designs on Aphrodite's dress, to be gold sprayed and hand painted over the white base.
we have everything now complete here in the studio, it's off to London to the Amalfi Perfume House on Sloane Street in Knightsbridge. In perfect on-par fashion with their previous displays, the entrance to the store has been transformed and brought to life with a beautiful floral design. Our Aphrodite features as a prominent part of the display as a nod to the individual fragrance. We'd like to thank Helena Viveros for coming to our studio with the project, and to Chris for the initial carving expertise. We always love hearing what you guys at home think of our projects and our channel, so please feel free to drop a comment below, and by all means subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with our latest videos. A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects and the creation of our videos, we love having you guys on board, and if you'd like to support our family run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.